What's the deal with New Year's resolutions? Who cares? Let's talk about it. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> My eyeball is freaking killing me, guys. I don't know what it is, and I hate when people tell me, well, stop sticking your finger in it, but it hurts. It's not my finger that's a problem, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Got my notes right here. So it's that time of year, guys, when we start talking about what we want to do next year because this one turned out so well. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm Dr. Faith, your faithful doc, and today we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions and why you might want a few. <laughs> talk about why we do New Year's resolutions. I mean, honestly, what's the deal with them? Who cares? Where did it come from? What's the history of it? I mean, did, do you know? Because I, I didn't know. So I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. I love that we're starting a new decade. I am so excited. I am done with 2019. What a show that was. We all do this every year. We all say we want to get new goals. We want to be a better person. We want to have the things that we never had before. But everybody fails like three months in and they don't understand why. I mean, every year, everybody, all of them, Sometime at the end of December when we all regret what we did during the holidays, we all think, let's start over. Why not? What can we get from this next year? Well, why? We're standing. We're standing. Ooh, ooh, we're standing. Check that purple hair. Check that purple hair. Who doesn't like to dance? Let's talk about some history, shall we? Where'd it come from? 4,000 years ago, ancient Babylon, people were murdering each other, things were happening, people weren't great. Didn't have many rules back then. There was rape and pillage and kill and whatever. Also, we held incredible grudges where we did not want to forgive our enemies and it really wasn't a good time just in human history. At that time, the New Year's was actually in March. The month of January is actually named after the Roman god Janus. Janus? Janus? Jan? J-A-N-U-S? Insert this here. In which he, them, they, girl? I don't really know. Probably a man because it was Roman times. They, let's just be politically correct here. They were the guardian of the archways because they had two faces. Like how handy is that, right? One facing forward and one facing behind. That way no one could really get in because they were kind of secure about that kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? I'm parched. So when did it change from the new year being in March to being in January? Well, Caesar, that guy, he decided that it was important to have it in January because the god could always think of facing backwards and forwards. So he would look at time and be like, oh, that was my mistake, maybe I shouldn't do that. And maybe we should all be better people. I know Caesar wasn't that good of a guy, but you know, he thought it might be a good idea. So he decided to do Janus, January, Yay! and make that kind of a time where we can look forward and backwards and make our decisions on what a better person we'd want to be. I feel like it's great to have a brand new start every year to be able to refresh, get the funk off. 2018 funk was enough. I'm good. Let's move forward. What's people's biggest goals when it comes to New Year's resolutions? I, I think that honestly, it has to do with people just feeling like it's a new start to the year. I can do whatever I want. Let me be this whole new human being. So looking back in 2019, and really any year, everybody's pretty much got the same goals. The number one being eat healthier. Of course, when you get through the holidays and you eat a bunch of crap and sugar and alcohol and you have a lot of fun and you have 20 pounds extra on you, of course, you're gonna wanna eat healthy. I mean, that's big as hell, but it's number one. Closely followed by weight loss, exercise, and having better habits in general. Why do these resolutions fail? Well, number one, they're usually vague as hell. Like, eat healthy, 
what does that even mean, eat healthy? Like have a salad. I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I'm just saying it's not the best plan. You know what I mean? You should probably have a little more idea on what you mean by eat healthy. Most people try to accomplish goals now. Well, you know, time is long. A year is a long time to accomplish it. And so they do this whole sprint thing and they just don't continue with the marathon of the rest of the year. So they end up having this issue where they quit by March. The, I mean, that's one way to do it. Another reason they fail is that they just don't believe in what they're actually doing. They just think they have to do it for somebody else. You gotta do it for you, man. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh your opinion, man. I think the biggest problem people have is they don't track their progress or they don't have a way to measure it. Let's talk about SMART goals, shall we? And I'm talking about the acronym not actually being SMART. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, in a Timely Manner Goals. Our brain loves goals. I don't know if you've noticed that, but if you have any kind of goal in which you get to take off. I don't know, wake up in the morning, make your bed, drink some water, or I mean some really specific ones, your brain's like, yes, I did that. So you want more of that to get to those goals. So what are some tips to stay on track? Make them smart? No, sure. Start small with your goals. It'll be really helpful. Drink some water. Also just change one thing at a time. Stop with the, I'm gonna quit smoking, lose weight, and then I'm gonna get a new job, and I'm gonna stop drinking alcohol, I'm gonna drink all the water in the world, I'm gonna become the most amazing Buddhist, nun, Christian, whatever religion that you have, you're gonna be the perfect person in the whole world. Just, just start with one. How about stop drinking? How about quit smoking? The more you add on your plate, the less you're actually going to be able to accomplish. So maybe make that, I don't know, easier for yourself. Tip number three on staying on your goals, talk about it. Talk about it, you know? Talk to me about it, talk to whoever about it, just talk about it. Because when you start talking to other people about your goals, you become accountable and then you have to do it. Or you have to explain why you didn't do it, which either one of those is kind of uncomfortable, but it is a growing thing and that's what goals are all about, right? Number four, don't beat yourself up you're gonna have some stumbles. A year's a really long time, you just never know. Just a lot of happens in a year. You know, you'll change career paths three, four times. You start doing YouTube videos you didn't know you were gonna do. Maybe that's just some of us. And the fifth one I have for you is just reach out for support. You feel like you're stumbling, you feel like you're having a hard time, talk to your friends, talk to your family. They all love you and they all wanna support you. So just talk to some people. So what do I want from 2020? I have some pretty lofty goals that I'd like to accomplish. One being to connect with you guys, be able to grow a YouTube community and be able to give you guys information that you so heavily crave and to post at least 30 to 60 videos. And that's a big range, but I think that's totally realistic as a working professional. I get comments all the time from my patients basically telling me that they were never taught by their physician what is actually going on. So let's dispel some of that stuff. Another big goal of mine is to be more me. For so many years I was told, you need to be like this and you need to be this traditional doctor and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Nah, that ain't me, brah. <laughs> But remember, be yourself. I love being me and I feel like I should be me and I will push you to be you because it's important to be yourself and not be what society thinks you should be. So be unapologetically you. I wanna be able to give you guys content that you feel like you're learning, pushing boundaries, being a better person, being the more person that you wanna be and not what other people expect you to be. 2020, I want to be nicer to me, and I say that every year, but we are always so self-critical, and that is a goal of mine, is to take things as they come and to grow in the timing that I need it. Is it measurable? Uh, no. <laughs> it is attainable, though. Is it realistic? Absolutely, that's something that I can work on every day. Another goal of mine would to be further my education in Spanish. I've always really wanted to learn it, but I keep losing out. Right around June or July, my, uh, my Duolingo decides to tell me that I'm not doing it, which is fair. So I would like to learn a little bit more every year. So what are your goals for 2020? I wanna hear all of them. Tell me, tell me, tell me, because I am always so interested to learn. I wanna know what makes you guys tick. So that's all that I've got for you for this video. Make sure that you comment down below what's your favorite New Year's resolution? What do you wanna do for the year 2020? Let me know and I would love to comment back. 
make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. I never really thought that was a thing. I always thought people would always say that and I'd be like, oh, it doesn't really help, but it really helps. So if you could, that'd be great. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll put older videos up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Blah, blah, blah.